counter it on the wing and bring it back. Hello everyone, welcome back to Motion RC. I'm James and we're out on a gorgeous day here at the CCRC and it was time to show you guys a proper flight on the Black Horse A6M0 behind me. 93 inch wingspan ARF kit. Um, she's, I've, the more and more I fly it, the happier and happier I get. But now that I've had a couple flights in on me, I'm getting comfortable with it and it's just a beauty to fly. There's nothing um, you know, flying these big balsa planes, guys say it all the time, bigger flies better, and you just have to agree. The larger they are, the less violent they are, and the sound on it for an electric motor, it's nice and quiet the way I like it, and she just really flies well. So what we're gonna do here, I'm gonna take her for a flight, I got a five minute timer, and uh, then when we land, I can show you around her, and uh, you know, we'll do all that good stuff. So I say, let's take it to the flying. All right, taking off right to left. So you want to increase that throttle nice and slowly. Make sure you can catch your rudder, which whatever way, counter the torque. Then bring it up. And you'll see that she just lifts. She has that nice wing loading she wants to fly. So now I'm bringing my throttle back to uh, half. And look at it, she tracks beautifully. That's I'm not even holding the sticks when I'm trying when I'm flying straight which is exactly what I want. I'm coming in about half throttle, then I'll goose it. Coming across, here we go. Bring it in full power. Let's bring it up. Stall turn. We'll go over to the left. Power out. Counter it on the wing and bring it back. I'm loving her more and more. The more flights you get on her, I just love her. I don't even like to talk when I'm flying her because she's just so gorgeous to look at. But I'll do a fast pass coming left to right. So we're gonna put a little rudder into the turn there. I just love her. I love her profile. And just the size is unbelievable. Ooh. Ooh. Absolutely in love with this black horse model. I'm gonna flip her inverted. Guys, when you got the CG right, barely, barely holding any up there. She just looks so good. Let's go back up into the vertical. We'll still turn the other way and then we'll come across for a big loop. Top. And we'll go in, half turn, push up, hold it a sec, and then come back down. Was that, that the split S of the Cuban? I'm forgetting. Bring it in, back up, half turn, up, and bring it down. And then flip it inverted again. And then let's push it inverted. She can dogfight all day, Alex. Pew, 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 pew. No Corsairs want to meet me. <laughs> She's beautiful, guys. I'm, I'm not doing much talking because we're filming this one for our live show. There's not much to say. She's large, stunning, and just handles absolutely beautifully big barrel roll out there bring it in and around i still got two minutes on my timer i've been putting five minute timers and coming down with like 40 percent in my packs so let's try to get it a little lower right down the runway a little rudder in that shun shondell to the right <laughs> If Tom Hunt's out there, I'm thinking of you today. Tom Hunt, good friend from when I lived out in Long Island. Excellent. RC knowledgeable pilot.
Wow. Beautiful. Absolutely stunning. Coming around. I'm going to turn out and then turn it back to the left. Power off. Just going to let it glide by. Give that throttle back and she's off she goes. The 10S power guy, so I got two 6,000 5S packs in here. And again, I think it's more than enough power uh, for what this bird wants. When I want full throttle, she will get that altitude you need. And she can fly probably a lot slower than I've flying it. I haven't really experimented with the slow flight yet. I'll save that for uh, other days. I would actually like a nice stiff breeze down the runway next time now that I'm more comfortable. I had it on my maiden day, but I only got two flights in and I just wasn't comfortable. But I'd love to have a nice stiff breeze down the runway. We got no wind right now, so when I'm flying slow, I actually want the wind to help me out a bit to slow me down. Coming in, gear's gonna come out so you can see it from behind. It'll start coming down now. I'm getting my timer. I'm gonna bring her down to half throttle. And on my down leg, that's when I'm gonna go to, I've been going to 50 flap. So I'm slowing her down even more, slowing her down. There's my flap. I didn't see any sort of balloon there, which is nice. And now we're gonna bring her in for a landing. So as I make my turn, I'm bringing the throttle down, keeping the nose pitched. And now here, my power is off. I wanna let it settle. Get it straight. I want to be up over the grass. Look at that. Look how she settles in on the grass so nicely. I got to work out. This field doesn't really cater to, I don't know. She. she <laughs> I guess her size, I misjudge just how fast she's really going. A larger airplane looks like it's going slower than it really is, is what I'm noticing. So I haven't, any of my landings, I haven't really implied power at all. Uh, when I'm coming in and it's just because I think I'd end up way off the runway and those landings that's pretty much how I've been doing all my best landings and it just works I'm like three point touching it when it comes down and uh, you know I couldn't ask for any more I can't wait to open this thing up at a bigger field too I'm just so excited to be in the large balsa game all right guys so there you have it that was one I think honest flight on the black horse a6m0 that was now my fifth flight on uh, this one and you know uh, I'll take that landing any day of the week. I've been powering it off and it seems to want to float in. So I still gotta work on, you know, adding power. But again, this runway caters to different things. This plane might just be at the uh, range where it's a little too big for our field, but it's still awesome to fly. I, I wanna get it to eventually to a bigger place. But here we are guys, taking a look at her again. 93 inches on the wingspan. Everything comes covered with this awesome, awesome covering. Some guys, when I first brought it here that day, they thought I weathered it, and I'm like, I could never do that job. This is how it comes out of the box. So you just gotta do your hinging. So you're hinging on all the control surfaces, you know, putting on the stabilizer, the rudder, um, installing the gear, which underneath is, you know, big electric re retracts, and then uh, obviously your motor and everything. And this is all on the recommended uh, spec that we have on the product page, um, except for the wood propeller. We, we, we only have the APC at the moment. We'll be getting those, I'm sure, in the future. But um, I went with that because people yelled at me on the live show about the plastic prop. But uh, taking a look inside, guys, and I'll talk about it here. We'll get the B-roll in. So as I said, now I have three packs inside, three, four, four LiPos inside. I'm running two, well, I'm sorry, two LiPos for the main motor. That's two 6,000 5Ss, and I have them pushed all the way up to the front on the CG. I have an at, and then two Admiral uh, Nickel Metal, uh, one powering my receiver, which has a satellite on it, and then one that powers the landing gear mechanism down here, which is really nice too. I love that. This electronic retract controller, that comes with the kit. So if you get a model that has, say, air brakes or sequence gear doors, um, you know, like Corsair or something, you would be able to plug all that in. So this is actually too advanced probably for what I got because all I did was plug in back here two leads for the uh, for the electric uh, landing gear and obviously the tail wheel does not retract in this. But then I got the high techs, two on the elevators 
and then one for the rudder, which also does the, uh, the, the wire, is what drives the tail wheel. But you can see the construction of it is beautiful. These servos, it's cut, it's laser cut to fit those servos in there. It was an impressively easy model to construct. And what I loved, I didn't have to do no manipulation to get that motor to fit up front. Everything was cut for everything. Like, um, so, you know, that's impressive. A couple of balsa models I built that when I wanted, wanted to put in electric, I had to do my own manipulation to get the CG to, to fit or to fit the motor on, because obviously a lot of these models, you know, are still coming from plans that were built before electric was even a thing. So, you know, guys are having to convert this, but this was, this one was molded with the idea that you can go either or, and they give you two different mounts uh, in the box if you want to go with the gas options. And we have plenty of those motors now. We have NGH and we have two, uh, two or more new Admiral gas engines as well. Check those out. Uh, the Admiral power lineup is only growing and uh, you know we got a lot of great options coming. But overall guys, I hope you enjoyed that. I will 100% be getting back out with this plane as much as I can because I think this is this is obviously my new favorite plane to fly. I love Warbirds. There's something just I like their speed. They're not too fast, and I just love their presence. And I like the whole idea behind, um, you know, that era. It's a it's an era that I hope never gets forgotten because uh, just something about these planes it just does it for me. <laughs> this this beats any jet for me. Beats anything for me. Uh, a big balsa the only thing now i want is a big spitfire like this then maybe a big corsair a mustang like let's do them all those single engine warbirds are awesome so guys thank you so much for joining me any questions you have feel free to ask in the comments i try to answer them all links to everything that we used in this uh in this aircraft is in the description of this video so you can check all that stuff out and uh guys please hit the like button on the way out the door and if you don't like this video hit the dislike button just let your voice be heard uh either way though guys Guys, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time at Motion RC.